Every now and then someone walks into our lives at Inspired Work that becomes a friend for all time. Uh, Larry Schwartz uh, weathered a really difficult transition from New York to Los Angeles and over the last few years has become a guru in the technology field as well as one of the great parents of all time. We're really delighted to share him with you. You just yeah. moved here from uh, New York and our mutual friend, Brenda, uh, Brenda Eddy. Yes. Long time ago. Oh my God. Uh, connected us. What happened? Well, first off, I think I may, should I cover that up or should I move this turn this way? You Is look that fine. It looks fine either way. It's it's okay. uh, it, it looks like you're dealing with a lot of technology there. I am. <laughs> <clears throat> Clean me up a little bit. Okay, a little deck. deck I, the funny thing is, I'm not even in conversation anymore with Brendan. So uh, it's really uh, you were the, uh, the the sole survivor in that relationship, good or bad or indifferent, David. That's good. So let's see. So when I first moved here, uh, it was a different world altogether. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to get back involved with uh, with the large studios, um, uh, which was my background. Uh, I knew five people in the city, and uh, the world was definitely a different place. You had, uh, as I recall, uh, you had taken off. Uh, in New York and we're up in the air uh, when 9-11 happened. I actually took off from Logan. I was the last airplane to fly over the Trade Center when 9-11 occurred. And uh, we were uh, ended up being on the runway looking at the Trade Center burning. And I was calling my uh, connecting, uh, where I was connecting into, which was Pittsburgh, where another plane hit. And... Um, on the phone with the guy that I was meeting with, and he said, where are you? And I said, I'm on the ground, and I'm looking at the towers burning. And he said, oh, my gosh, the second plane just hit. <clears throat> and things kind of changed uh, significantly, and they turned us back to the gate. And um, I was in the uh, food court getting a cup of coffee and a juice, and the Pentagon plane hit. And then all hell broke loose. And... You know, it ended up uh, a couple months later, I went up to my wife and I said, you know, it's uh, what are we waiting for? Because uh, we had talked about moving to California. And uh, <clears throat> uh, I went to my boss so uh, in February and I announced my resignation. And we decided to move to California. Uh, <clears throat> didn't know anybody. Um uh, the, the economy was falling through the floor, which we thought was going to be the worst economy to hit us ever. And ultimately people weren't hiring ops guys, which was my background. <clears throat> my background was about, you know, how can I ensure that, uh, a dollar coming in, you know, uh, you know, a, a dollar goes out, you know, reduce costs, create efficiencies in companies, you know, with a background in Six Sigma. And I had to really reinvent myself when I came out here. And a lot of that happened through um, just uh, going through inspired, the Inspired Work program and uh, uh, really thinking about taking, taking uh, uh, a check on what I had in terms of background and skills and what I could create from that. One of the, <clears throat> I, I was watching you every step of the way, and I think one of the lessons that you can share with people is that you did thoroughly reinvent yourself. Yeah. And uh, and you you've you've developed into what I see as an auteur in the technology business, and and you've become a great salesperson. Uh, you have this great gift of driving technology along and and uh, getting people together, and you've made a good living of it. What do you love about your life the most today? Oh, my family. Um, they. Uh... I definitely define myself as uh, as a husband and dad. Um, uh, in fact, it, you know, and a bit of a mentor. I mean, I've kind of changed my my perspective on you know uh, being a dad of teenage boys. It's uh, there's a there's a limit on what they hear from me. Mm -hmm. They like in terms of uh, the lesson, 
And so I, I couch my lessons now in terms of just business stories. And they really get into that. Uh, you know, I, I, they're entrepreneurs themselves. They've, they started their first businesses when they were, you know, 12 years old, you know, teaching, uh, you know, first graders basketball, you know, and uh, after reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad. So they've grown out, grown up in a household with two entrepreneurs. And, and uh, you know, yesterday we, we even yesterday had a conversation. They asked us individually, um, you know, how we saw them, mm -hmm. you know, and how we perceive their future. And, you know, I, I think that they're both going to be highly successful people in their own right. And a lot of it comes because of um, seeing the hard work, but also understanding the need to be fluid, um, uh, being able to move fluidly from, you know, one thing to the next and be able to take on past lessons uh, and move that, bring that with you. And that's really what's happened to me out here, which is, you know, I started, um, you know, I created my own content distribution business, did an AOL joint venture. Um, through that, I had to buy my business back from AOL when AOL started changing dramatically. And then ultimately, this company that I'm with now um, was originally looking at me, my company, but bought me instead. And, um, and I forged really deep relationships with the people here um, because of the fact that I take my work personally. And uh, way back when, I had a manager said, you take your work too personally. And I'm like, well, what's the problem that's with that? Good. Yeah, that's a great thing. Yeah. And so it's all about how we show up. It's all about, you know, adding to the equation. It's about being, um, you know, brutally honest. Um, it's about uh, creating comfort and ease. And, uh, you know, Malcolm Forbes said a long time ago, you know, you've you got to be people's friends to do business with them because nobody does business with their enemies. And that that is so true. That is so true.